Vicious is definitely a no go, Aris. What? That was Cook. He just got the results back from the handprint and it doesn't match Vicious. Well, and his computer? Well, Hannah checked the hard drive and apart from some dodgy porn, it's clean. <sighs> okay, so it's not Vicious. But there has to be some sort of connection, some reason that the killer is choosing to imitate his work. Maybe, or maybe it's just a diversion, a means for the killer to give himself more time so he can find his next victim. Looks like he's already found him. We've received another code. This time it's personally addressed to you two. So when did this come in? Uh, less than 15 minutes ago. Has Hannah been sent a copy? Her team's on it now. Okay, so if you sent the code, that means we have less than 48 hours before another body turns up. Get everyone to the briefing room. We'll be there in five. Okay, guys and girls, our primary suspect, Vicious, was questioned extensively yesterday. Harris, I'm going to let Hannah take the lead on this one today. She seems to have come up with some new information on this case. Here's a name we're all familiar with. Peeping Tom. He's on the site myexbastard.com. So are the victim's partners. All of our victims had domestic reports on them from wives, girlfriends, mistresses. How'd you miss that, Harris? And to add to it... Police work isn't based on assumptions. What facts do you have? We've been looking at the clues at the crime scene instead of finding out what ties them all together. The women do. Peeping Tom was put in jail for the attempted murder of a man who almost killed the woman he loved. You read his case file. Remember the hit and run a few years ago? Two years ago. Right around the time our serial killer He was cleared up. of those charges. There wasn't any evidence, right. not like these cases. But the man who was killed in that hit and run case was Simon McIntosh. McIntosh was known for attacking women. I want you to go out. I don't know about these guys, boss. I mean, it might not be vicious, but keep in time. Yeah, we were saying the same thing last night. Tom had something to do with this. There's too much- Don't turn mountains into molehills. Reverse that. Oh, I don't care what you're doing today. I want you to go and question Tom. Check out those cell phone records and check out the website that hosts this. Have you ever been in love, Thomas? Can you bring me up to speed on this? So, I believe that Peeping Tom, aka Thomas Archibald Smith, has been using myexbastard.com to select his victims. Seems you've been in love quite a number of times, Tommy. About an inch thick worth of time. The owners of the site forwarded messages that he'd sent to the ex-girlfriends of the victims prior to their murder. That's a lot of love, Tommy. The man he tried to kill in 99 was abusing his ex-partner. They didn't love you back though, did they? No. How could they? And the killer's victims all have a history of domestic violence. What, so you think Tom's on some vigilante mission, trying to rid the world of abusive men? Now since you graduated on to killing people. Don't you know that killing people gets you into trouble, Tommy? Don't you know why trouble gets you? I'm not totally convinced. I mean, I can understand him attempting to kill his ex-girlfriend's abusive partner. He was heartbroken and he lost the love of his life. Then there's this hit and run. But they hadn't had contact for over 10 years. What? You didn't forget her, did you? The last no. time she saw him was six months after they broke up. It was just by pure chance he was there on that day to help. It took him weeks to get the bloodstains off the sewer from the beginning he took. Look. Look! <laughs> I'm never one to believe in coincidences. Me neither. Afternoon, Chief. Hannah. Frears. 
So we got more intelligence on that website? Tom's been contacting all of the victim's ex-partners prior to them being murdered. What about the other women he's been talking to? We found out if their exes are still alive? And exactly how many women was he talking to? Excluding the deceased, four. Three of whom I've tracked down and they're alive and well. What about the fourth? Simon Scott. He was last seen leaving a work leaving due last Friday. What do we know about him? Similar to previous victims. Works in the financial sector, he's an investment banker. He's got a history of violence against women, but no prosecutions. So potentially, he's our next victim. It seems that way. Frizz, take Cook, go to Simon's office, talk to his secretary and anyone else that was there that night. Find out what they know. And on the way back, drop in on his ex. Find out where she last saw him and about her communication with Tom.